In this video, we're gonna go over exactly how to gain 100,000 followers in TikTok in under 10 minutes. You heard that right. I don't care if you have 1K followers right now, zero followers right now, 10K followers, or even 50,000 followers right now, and you haven't been able to get on the For You page because of the new TikTok algorithm, this video is going to help you gain 100,000 followers. TikTok just released a new algorithm, which is actually favoring small creators, and it's made it incredibly easy to hit 100,000 followers on TikTok. In fact, it's actually a lot easier to gain followers when you don't have that many on TikTok right now because of this new TikTok algorithm update. But when it comes to hitting 100,000 followers, you're basically going to have to implement three strategies. It's going to be a different strategy to go from zero to 1,000 followers, and then from 1,000 followers to 50,000 followers, and then to go from 50,000 followers to 100,000 followers, it's going to be a totally different strategy, and I'm going to share with you guys all three of those strategies in this video. These strategies are going to include how often you should be posting, what you should be posting, what features you should be using on TikTok, and so much more. To put it simply, guys, you're literally one post away from changing your life. I've seen it happen to so many creators. This creator right here in the past week has gained over 300,000 followers. This creator, over 150,000 followers. And this creator, over 100,000 followers. They're in my mentorship program and they're doing the exact things that I'm about to share with you in this video. So please make sure you stick around for the end because I'm also going to be sharing with you the number one niche if you want to go viral on TikTok right now and you want to gain 100,000 followers really quickly. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Robert Benjamin. I'm the CEO of Helping You Grow on TikTok. I quit my job working for Gary Vee to help you grow on TikTok. I used to answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube videos, but I do have to share something with you guys. I'm not sure if you've seen Graham Stephan's post, but the same exact thing happened to me. YouTube has actually been threatening to ban my account and they won't give me my play button even though I hit 100,000 subs because I answer every single comment and they think that it's spam. Also, just so you guys know, there are people that are pretending to be me in the comments. If my comment does not have a verification badge next to it, it is not me. So please do not listen to them. Do not WhatsApp them. It is not me. You heard right. It is not me. In addition to that, I am going to have to be taking a break from answering every single comment on my YouTube videos. So if you have a question about anything, please, please, please DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is right here. I answer every single DM that I get on Instagram. And there'd be a great way for you to chat with me. In addition to that, text me right here. My phone number's right here. I try to get back to as many text messages as possible. I try to randomly FaceTime you guys. My passion is helping you guys grow on TikTok. Like I said, I quit my job working for Gary Vee literally to help you grow on TikTok. So please take me up on that and take advantage of it. Now let's get into the video. For starters, it doesn't matter if you have zero followers right now, 10,000 followers, or even a million followers right now, you should not be posting on TikTok unless your TikTok fits the following criteria. First, it's posted at the right time. Secondly, it has a description and it has hashtags. Third, it has a trending sound in it. Fourth, you need to be incentivized engagement at the end of the video. So many creators, whether they be big, whether they be small, actually miss out on gaining 100,000 followers literally just from one post because they don't incentivize engagement. If you incentivize engagement on a post and it gets over a million views, you will gain 100,000 followers straight from that post. I have literally seen a viral post take people from going to zero followers to two million followers in just 24 hours I've seen it take people from 50K to 200K. But the only way that that's ever gonna happen is if you're incentivizing engagement. Fifth, every single video that you post needs to have a hook in it. There needs to be a hook with the camera angle, with text on the screen, or just simply in what you're saying in the video. If you're not hooking a user in and giving them a reason to watch in the first three seconds, your video is not gonna be successful. If you haven't seen my video about the latest TikTok algorithm update, the most important thing is watch time. I'm not gonna talk about this in this video. In fact, I will link out to it at the end of the video so that you could check out the algorithm video and know everything that you need to do in specific in your post, how to structure them and all that jazz so that you can go viral on TikTok and you can get a ton of views. Right now, I'm just giving the blueprint of what your strategy should be depending on how many followers you have. And the sixth and final thing is your video needs to either be a duet or a stitch of a video that's gone viral or you need to be recreating a viral video. If your videos do not hit those six markers, well then guess what? You should not be posting them on TikTok. They are not going to be successful. TikTok is not based on how many posts you could put out on and how good your content is necessarily. You could put out an amazing piece of content. But if TikTok doesn't think they have an audience for it, literally nobody is going to see it. The number one factor when it comes to getting views on TikTok, when it comes to growing on TikTok, is one, you getting a high amount of watch time on a video that TikTok thinks they have an audience for. If TikTok doesn't have an audience for your content, well then guess what? You're not going to get any views on it. So please make sure you guys do not post unless your post hits those six criteria that I mentioned. In fact, I think every single one of you should get a note card right now or a sticky note or even the notes on your phone and make sure you write it down and make sure every single time you post that it hits those criteria. Because if not, you're honestly just wasting your time. In addition, right now, your length of your video really, really matters. For short videos, the best video length to go viral is gonna be nine to 13 seconds. For longer videos, the best video length to go viral is gonna be 45 seconds to a minute and 20 seconds. I know, you can now do three minute videos. You don't wanna do a three minute video though. If you're gonna do long form content, keep it to 45 to a minute and 20 seconds. You'll be able to capture
capture somebody's attention for that long. Three minutes is a really long time to capture somebody's attention. It's way easier to do it in 45 seconds to a minute and 20 second segments because people will watch that on TikTok and then you can incentivize engagement to get them to watch part two and this will allow you to actually, instead of just putting out a three minute video, you can put out four 40 second videos and get way more viewers and way more followers and really show TikTok that there's an audience for your content. So by the part two, part three, and part four, you're gonna be getting way more views based on the original part one of your video. So, to go from zero to a thousand followers on TikTok, you need to make sure you're doing a couple things. First, you need to be posting four to six times a day. Now, I know that might seem like a lot, but if you're spending more than 30 minutes making a TikTok or making a string of TikToks, well then guess what? You are not doing the right thing. TikTok should not take a really long time to make. They shouldn't take that long in general at all because you should be stitching viral videos, duetting viral videos, or literally recreating viral videos. If you guys wanna learn more about that and how to make it way easier and how to actually cut down the amount of time you're spending on TikTok, I have videos about that on my channel. But needless to say, you guys should be posting four to six times a day if you're at zero to a thousand followers. Secondly, you need to be following back every single person that follows you and you need to follow every single person that likes and comments on your posts. You're going to be doing this up until you have 10,000 followers, but it is really important in the beginning to make sure that you can get more views and more followers on your content. In addition to that, it's going to incentivize people to follow you back because they're going to see, oh, this person, you know, I like their content, I watch their content and they drop me a follow. Let me give them a follow back and they'll continue to show love on their content. And this is how you build your initial following that is going to watch all your videos, that is going to engage on all your videos, and that is even going to share your videos with their friends and help spread your account and get you more followers. Third, you need to make sure that every single post, I need to emphasize this, every single post fits the criteria that I mentioned earlier in the video. I'm telling you, this is going to be incredibly important. You want to start with the right foundation. And then after you do those three things right, you're going to do this. It may take a day. It may take two days. It may take three days, but you eventually are going to hit a thousand followers on TikTok. And then it honestly gets it's way easier to grow because you're going to get more features and you're going to start doing some things differently. But before I mention how are you going to go from a thousand followers to over 50,000 followers, I do want to emphasize that you do not want to do a couple of things that will actually slow your growth and ruin the amount of views that you're getting on TikTok. First, deleting videos. Secondly, privating videos. Third, not following the checklist that I mentioned earlier in the video. And then fourth, not having a pro account. Guys, you need a pro account. You need a creator account. Whichever one that shows up under your account, you need to be on that one. Do not have a business account. Having a business business account is going to severely limit the amount of trending sounds that you use, which means you're going to get less views, which means you're going to get way less followers. Trust me, guys, growing on TikTok is exponential. One post is going to take you from 50K followers to 100K followers. So please, guys, make sure that you are not doing those things that I just mentioned. Also, at this stage, guys, you should be testing several things. You should be testing several niches. You should be duetting. You should be stitching. You should be green screening. You should be testing nine second videos, 11 second videos, 13 second videos. You do not know what works best for your niche right now or what content works best for you personally, your personality, your tone of voice, all of those things. And in addition to that, you don't know the best time to post specifically for your account. But if you want to know the general best times to post on TikTok, I have a video about that that I'll also link out to you at the end of this video. So once you have a thousand followers, now you can start doing a couple things differently. First, you can now go live. You should be going live three to four times a day, ideally after 7 p.m. and ideally right after you post. When you go live, you should be going live for 30 to 60 minutes. Now, so many people ask me, Rob, what should I be doing when I'm on live? Honestly, you you need to ask your audience. You should find out where they're from, or what they're into, and then talk about your life. Talk about things going on in your life and really get to know your audience. And what that's going to do, it's going to show TikTok that you can keep people on the app, which then gets you on the For You page, which then gets your content pushed out and gets you way more followers just for going live and interacting with people. Secondly, you need to make sure you're continuing to follow every single person that comments and likes on your posts up until you have 10,000 followers. You need to continue to do this because again, this is going to help build up that initial base and those people that are really going to stick with you to the end. I still have followers on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, and I'll get DMs sometimes whenever I have a new goal or a new accomplishment and they'll say, Rob, I've literally been here since you had 300 followers or I've been here since you have 50 followers. And these are the type of messages that are going to totally change your life when you get a message like this. Yeah, I know. Every single one of you wants 100,000 followers a million followers, a video to go viral. But trust me, all that stuff is going to happen if you follow this blueprint. Getting those DMs and getting those text messages and this stuff that's crazy from people early on that started with you early on in the journey really helped you initially get some traction and then continued to follow you. Those things are gonna be really crazy when you have that happen to you in the future. And then third, to go from 1,000 to 50,000 followers, really, you're going to have to start doing a lot more of what's working. At this point, you should have like 20 to 25 posts on your account. You're gonna know what works. It might be a duet, it might be a stitch, it might be a certain sound, it might be a certain topic, it might be a certain video length. You should now know what's going to work and you need to be doing two things with that. First, you need to be doing way more of what works. I look at so many creators' accounts, I 
I see a duet did well, and then I see that they haven't done a duet in five posts, and they DM me and say, Rob, what can I do differently? Well, Timmy, what you can do differently is go back and do what worked, like I say, in a lot of my YouTube videos. So please, make sure you're continuing to do what is working. Make sure you're incentivizing engagement. Make sure you're still following that checklist, and this will help you go from 1,000 to 50,000 followers. In addition to that, by this point, you should have some videos over 10,000 views. Once you get a video over 10,000 views, you need to start reposting that video. Literally, download the video, re-upload it, change your description, change the hashtags, make sure you're incentivizing engagement on it. This can literally make your account blow up. I've seen a simple repost. Take Devin Rodriguez Art, who's got over 20 million followers across everything now, from 22,000 followers to over 2 million followers in just 24 hours. You heard that right. A simple repost in just 24 hours got him 2 million followers. The same exact thing can happen to you if you start to repost your content. But I do want to warn you, you should only repost a piece of content every 72 hours and never repost it more than three times. Once you've done it more than three times, you should just start recreating that post or making it a little bit differently or wearing a different t-shirt or doing something drastically different so that you can continue to take advantage of that trend. But you don't want to keep reposting it because that will lead to copyright issues, which trust me, you do not want on TikTok. At this age, you can also start posting much more. When you're going from 1,000 to 50,000 followers, I strongly suggest posting like six to eight times a day because this will really help you keep your amount of views elevated and then you'll get better at incentivizing engagement and you'll get way better at finding posts that actually make you go viral, which is what is going to help you get over that 100,000 follower mark.